heavy snow and ice have disrupted road and air travel in parts of the UK and left thousands of homes without power. Drivers were at a standstill on the A14 in Northamptonshire for several hours, while a lorry crash on the M1 blocked the motorway. The Met Office has issued a yellow weather warning for ice overnight across most of the UK. Passengers at Stansted Airport faced long delays as flights were suspended twice to clear snow from the runway. A spokesman for the airport said the snow had passed over and they were not anticipating any more closures. Many flights have been delayed and almost 30 outbound Ryanair flights have been cancelled. Some passengers have complained on social media that they have been stuck on planes on the ground for several hours. At EasyJet Hay, we have been trapped on a plane at Stansted Airport for more than three hours. There are many children on board. We got a cup of water an hour ago. Send help end of Twitter post by at Fiona underscore Thatcher. Luton Airport said it had to significantly reduce the number of inbound flights it was accepting. Some flights have also been cancelled and there have been delays to allow de-icing of aircraft, a spokesman added. Ryanair apologized for having to cancel a small number of flights because of runway closures at several UK airports. Meanwhile, Western Power Distribution said about 4,000 homes were without power in the Midlands, southwest England and Wales, but that more than 25,000 customers had had their power restored since Tuesday morning. The firm said the cuts were all snow-related and extra staff, who had been on standby for poor weather, had been called in to work to reconnect properties. Scottish and Southern Electricity Networks said about 2,000 customers were still without power at 1630 GMT. Andover and Basingstoke in Hampshire, Melksham and Swindon in Wiltshire, Newbury in Berkshire, as well as areas of Oxfordshire, had all been affected, it added. Power had now been restored to about 17,000 properties, the firm said. Frank Bird, from Highways England, said the worst of the conditions were now over in the West Midlands, as the bad weather had moved eastwards. He said 2,000 tons of salt and grit had been put down in the region overnight, adding that treating roads was a battle that we are constantly fighting. One of those caught up in the problems on the A14 was lorry driver Simon Talbot, who told BBC News he had been stuck for more than three hours. If been stationary since about 2.20 GMT westbound on the A14, there is approximately 5 ins, 12 centimeters, of snow we've had and I am just stationary, he said. I am on an incline and there are lorries and vans in front that are unable to get up the hill because of the snow. So it is just a waiting game at the moment. Tara Di Fabrizio was stuck on the road for five hours, after leaving home from Northampton at 6 o'clock GMT. It's a complete standstill. If called my boss now to say I won't be coming in. She added, I don't know why it's so bad this time, when we had a lot of snow two weeks ago, I got to work fine. Referring to an earlier incident on the M1, Leicestershire police tweeted there had been an accident involving a lorry, which had blocked all three lanes.